Hi everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez. This is the Weekly Report, a look at news from the City of Kansas City, Missouri. To reduce back to school costs for Kansas City families, the City will participate in a sales tax holiday from Friday, August 1st through Sunday, August 3rd. During this weekend, shoppers who purchase certain items such as clothing, shoes, school supplies, and computers in Kansas City, Missouri stores well, they won't have to pay any sales tax. Residents needing home repairs or improvements may be eligible for city programs that help build stronger neighborhoods. Several of the city's housing improvement programs are currently taking applications, including the City Home Repair Program and Targeted Minor Home Repair Program. To learn more about how you can participate, visit kcmo.gov and search for home repair. The city's performance management efforts have been recognized by the International City-County Management Association. For the third consecutive year, the ICMA's Center for Performance Management has awarded Kansas City, Missouri's performance management team with the Certificate of Excellence, its highest level of recognition. For more information about the city's performance management efforts, please visit kcmo.gov and search performance. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. to Brush Creek in the Country Club Plaza area of Kansas City and uh, we're enjoying another great day here in Kansas City to watch the Dragon Boat Races. Uh, this is the 10th year of the Dragon Boat Races. Uh, this event, uh, as one can see from the, from the video, uh, is the racing of two boats at a time up and down uh, this section of Brush Creek. Uh, once down, once back. The turn at the other end is kind of critical. There is 12 teams this year. Uh, eight of those teams are in the college division and then four teams are in the corporate division and they have a bracketed race, so we'll have a champion in each of those categories. Uh, the Dragon Boats, uh, as you can see, uh, are a long, almost like a canoe, but they have some uh, decor on them that would make them significant to be a Dragon Boat. Uh, the ones that are being used today are four new Dragon Boats that were brought here uh, recently from Xi'an, China. So they were manufactured in Xi'an and, and shipped to Kansas City. Uh, why Xi'an? Well, Xi'an is a sister city of Kansas City and that's why we do the, uh, the Dragon Boat races. Parks and Recreation is glad to have the opportunity to use Brush Creek as a great way to showcase the creek and uh, one of the great opportunities we can do along here. Other activities like water fire and things of that nature occur later in the year and so great way to learn about KC's many activities, many programs throughout our 220 acre park system is to go to kcparks.org. Again, kcparks.org uh, on the website or hashtag kcparks is another way to learn about our organization. Hi, I'm Floyd Peoples, Fire Marshal for the Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department. 
Warm weather means more time outside grilling, enjoying time around the fire pit, and relaxing outdoors. But these activities present fire safety concerns as well. Please remember the charcoal or gas grills and fire pits should always be located safe distances from buildings, wooden decks, and other combustibles. Never store propane indoors. On gas grills, be sure to check the propane gas hose connection to make sure it's tight and that the hoses do not leak. If you think you have a leak, put some soapy water on it and look for bubbles. That's an indication the hose needs replaced. When done grilling or using your fire pit, be sure the fire is properly extinguished. Never put hot coals in a trash can or other container. Use gasoline only for its intended purpose as a motor fuel. Handle gasoline outdoors only. For more information, go to kcmo.gov and search for FYI KC. I'm Floyd Peoples, Fire Marshal for the Kansas City Fire Department, wishing you a happy, fun, and safe summer. Did you know there's a way to get answers from KCPD without calling 911? The number 234-5111 is available for non-emergency inquiries. Communication Supervisor Jeannie Rast explains. The number 234-5111 is answered or monitored on a 24-hour basis here in the communications unit. Whenever they call in, they could ask things um, about illegally parked cars, about a stealing that might have happened at their house. They don't know when it happened or who was the suspect. Um, a noise disturbance if there's not a fight involved, but it's a large crowd. Stolen autos. If they don't know who's taken the stolen auto, they do have a time span, let's say quite a while or overnight, and they don't know who the suspect is, also that kind of call. 311 takes care of calls for service that would pertain to animal health calls. Um, the illegally parked cars also, if they're a nuisance or abandoned, they take those. But with us, we're more of an informational, um, where you could call, a number where you can call and ask any type of question. We do get some calls where they are not police related, but we will make references or possibly answer the question if we know the answer. The 911 calls come in to the call center and they are the prior priority. So those calls are answered first. And then once all the 911 calls are answered, it would go to that informational line of 234-51111. And that way, um, it kind of gives a higher priority to the 911 callers. Some of the things that are asked to you on the number that are non-emergency, if there's a race downtown or an event downtown or anywhere in the city, if any of the streets are going to be closed, they can call. Um, a lot of times, too, if there's storm-related questions, um, people are trying to see what areas might have problems um, to check on loved ones. That might be the number to call, would be the 234-5111. The 234-5111 number is the non-emergency number for the police. The city also provides information from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday at their 311 number or 513-1313. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week. Here is your chance to get your pet licensed, microchipped, and vaccinated for rabies. Bring your pet to the Spirit of Freedom Fountain on Saturday, July 26th from noon to 3 p.m. or to Marlboro Park on August 30th from noon to 3 p.m. The city will partner with the Raytown Animal Hospital to provide free rabies vaccinations and microchipping. Pet owners will be required to purchase a city pet license for $10. The Public Improvements Advisory Committee, also called PIAC, is a 13-person committee that has been listening to residents all summer regarding public improvements. Soon, the group will make recommendations to the Mayor and City Council regarding the citywide and neighborhood portions of the capital budget. PIAC invites residents to attend its final set of neighborhood hearings. These are on Wednesday, July 30th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Hillcrest Community Center and on Thursday, July 31st from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Country Club Congregation Church. Please visit kcmo.gov and search for PIAC for the meeting information or to download a form and submit your funding request. The deadline for submitting your ideas and requests is August 31st. For more information about any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the weekly report. 
That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.